A linear incision is made in the middle of the pyloric antrum. This is a partial thickness incision only of the seromuscular layer. The incision is approximately 2 inches long. Pylorus is then manipulated, mobilized and opposed against the body wall. Once the ideal gastrophexy site has been identified, the linear incision into the transversus abdominis is made. Again, this is also a partial thickness incision of the body wall itself. O or 2O monofilament absorbable suture. Here I believe we are using some Maxon and we are going to oppose the deep or the dorsal aspects of the incision in the body wall and the stomach, uh, the antrum. You can see that once that first suture is tied, the stomach should be well opposed to the body wall. This should not be a crushing suture, just an appositional uh, amount of tension. Then a running suture, continuous pattern is made. Note that the needle is actually entering and exiting, uh, involving through the incisions that you have made. It is helpful to have an assistant maintain some mild degree of tension on the line as you are passing, uh, taking each bite in order to maintain that apposition uh, and suitable tension between the stomach and the transversus. We are now tying the uh, suture strand to itself finishing it towards the caudal aspect of the gastropexy site. At this point you uh, can start a new strand of suture and with this continuous pattern we are now opposing the more ventral aspect of the incision. Here you can see that the primary surgeon is Again, maintaining that little bit of tension uh, to maintain good apposition between the tissues as you are taking each bite. Because you left that first short strand intact, uh, these two suture strands can be tied to each other, thereby completing the gastropexy. With a wall in an anatomically normal position, there really should not be any excessive tension on the stomach itself.